Oil production is a lifeline and the primary source of revenue for the government of South Sudan. Accounting for a significant portion of the country's GDP and government budget, the Sudan conflict that erupted had a negative impact and interrupted the smooth flow of crude oil to international market as well as economic downtown in the country. President Salva Kiir Mayardit delegated his security advisor Tud Galwak, ministers of presidential affairs Joseph Bangasi Bakasoro and of petroleum Port Kangchol to visit Red Sea port and see where the crude oil of South Sudan is stored and sold to international market in order to look into the challenges and get first-hand information as well as engage the Sudanese government to seek possible alternative on addressing the security matters that hamper the production and transportation of crude oil. <laughs> كل ما كلفنا سي رئيس مجلس مقوم السودان مع رئيس المجلس السياده ومع قائد وزراء الدكتور مقوم السودان الى الموضوع الدكتور دولة جنوب السودان نشارك كل مشاكل الواجهه نفس الدكتور احنا نفس الدكتور نفس صاحب الشرف نحن القضاء نبيب زي اتفاق رولية بين مقوم السودان وقوم جنوب السودان تمر اراضي سودانيه لان يوصل في منطقه بحر العرب ونحن ظروف الحرب موجود في السودان الان يتعسر مباشرة من البترول ونحن نعالج قابل كل الطرف بين سوى نبي البترول عشان نحن البترول ما يبقى الجنوب ما يبقى مصادر من كل جهه يزول بكل ماشي احنا ما عندنا اي حاجه بتكون بالسودان نحن نراجل كل من السودان تعقلوا يمكن السلام يمكن الايوار افضل ما الناس تكون في حرب في 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 شعب السودان While in inspecting the facility at the Red Sea port, the delegation briefed by the engineers working on Bashair Pipeline Company, Babco, on the challenges of running the system, among which inaccessibility, damage and gilling in PV-13 and PV-14, located in Kilo 80, under the control of rapid support forces, inability to deliver equipment, chemical materials to different stations, through which the pipeline is passing through, including Rabak, Sinar, Sinja, Jebelaind, among other areas. Babco engineers say it will require an agent intervention of government of South Sudan in order to engage the Sudanese security apparatus, both the army and the rapid support forces, to create a safe buffer zone and conducive environment for engineers to fix the damage caused in the pipelines in different stations to enable resumptions of a smooth production of crude oil. Oil is the economic lifeline and South Sudan depends on more than 98% of its revenue generation from crude oil production. With the current political instability in Sudan, number of oil fields in United States and Upper Nile regions respectively are no longer operating, contributing to economic challenges in the country. Uh, this is uh, the main center in Port Sudan. We call it uh, the Babco main center, the pipeline that are ready and all the crude oil from South Sudan comes direct to this location. And as you could see behind me, these are some of the stations that are loaded from here to be sold to the international market. Uh, the government of Sudan and South Sudan, of course, are working closely to ensure that the petroleum or the crude oil flows smoothly and address some of the challenges that is hampering the flow of petroleum to the international market. The government is now going to engage both the Sudanese government and uh, the leadership of the RSSF to ensure that the pipelines that are transporting crude oil of South Sudan is not interrupted and the smooth flow of petroleum is going well to the international market. Gore Anthony, SSBC News, Port Sudan.